apparently there's an Omega Dragon, or, or I wouldn't pay attention too much attention to what it said. But apparently one has been either summoned in or is nearby. I, I, same thing with that Janguru thing. I kind of want to go back over there. Maybe we can find Janguru now. Maybe, maybe that's one of the reasons why Janguru was kind of glitched. Maybe because he only spawns in nearby and he, like, despawns similar to that one dra- Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, and man, another Manticore! Holy heck! Look at this, so many things are spawning in now! Another Manticore! You guys, we need another Manticore to kill, to get the Manticore Essence, to make the improved Manticore Saddle, which is still very, very valuable. It is a flying critter, but of course we cannot take on the Beast of Darkness with a Manticore. It's only a, uh... Oh, there it is right there. Can I shoot it with the, uh... There you go, pew pew. <laughs> I just want to get his attention to aggro it on us. Aggro it on us. Uh, pew 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 pew. Did I get it? Yes, 5,000 damage. He's already spawning in the vultures. Is he going to come down here? I'm like, he's, he's spawning in the vultures. He's fighting something else. Oh, he must have, he must have been fighting that alpha. Oh, now, okay, now he's coming down here. And then let's get him with a big cannon. 85,000 damage. 85,000 damage. Oh my gosh. 5,000 damage per pew pew. Oh, another! And Manticore is down. Mm hmm There we go, we got it. Hey, look at that! Look at that! He actually gave us the Manticore Essence! Whoa! I wonder if they fixed it. Well, that's cool. We actually went out to spawn it in this time, so that's good. And uh, we got an uncommon chitin legging, some other random trash. Another, uh, canteen. I, uh, speaking of canteens, I do need to fill up my canteens. Because, uh... Like, we're here in water, so might as well fill up my can- Oh, I've still got extra- Okay, whatever, drop those extra ceilings, I don't care. <laughs> Fill up those canteens, just because why not? Oh my gosh, you guys. Uh, I, I feel like that hibernation thing was holding us back hardcore for this series. I have a feeling that it was. Alpha Apex Utoraptor. Yeah, we already saw that earlier, but where, where is that Janguru? I do remember we saw the Janguru little notification kind of near that Apex Utoraptor. We are literally destroying the entire terrain around here. What in the world? Jeez. <laughs> And remember, Janguru does have like a little, uh, a little like, like a giant halo above his head or something, uh, like a giant, kind of like the Scions you guys know. So it shouldn't be too hard to miss him. He should be really. Uh, I'm not seeing him. Might want to get out the transmitter. I don't think that's what it's for. Man, that thing is invaluable now that I actually know. Hey, just turn off the hibernation thing. And by the way, if you guys are wondering, hey, how'd you turn off hibernation? I'm wondering how to do that. Uh, oh, Navalis, Deity of Winter has appeared. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta be. It's, it's, it's gotta be just like the Destroy All Wild Dinos thing. You guys remember last time I did that? And then, like, suddenly we got, like, a, oh, Janguru has appeared. Uh, Navalis Deity of Winter has appeared. We got all that. I feel like doing the hibernation mode turn off. I feel like that's done basically the same thing as Destroy All Wild Dinos. Except it didn't destroy all wild dinos. It basically started spawning in dinos from everywhere else in the map, you know? Instead of me having to be nearby for those critters to start spawning in, I guess it's just spawning them in anyways. Kind of like it would on a server, you know? Oh, whoa! What was that thing? Oh, Promotech Parasaur. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I am... I am feeling a little bit of choppiness. Like, yeah, frame droppage. You guys might be seeing it in the video. Yeah, another frame droppage right there. On one end, I feel like it might be because I'm literally tearing up the terrain. And there's heckin' things flying all over the map. But on the other hand, it might be because of the hibernation thing that I did. Oh, another, uh, there's an ice wyvern flying up there. So I don't, I don't know how to pinpoint where this lag is coming from, these, like, lag spikes, I guess you could call them. I guess if we ever switch out to, like, our Manticore or some other critter, we could probably pinpoint it a little bit easier and be like, yeah, the lag spikes have stopped ever since I stopped using Bokito. But I, I have a feeling it might be because of Bokito. It might be because of the hibernation thing, because it's spawning in the critters from all over the map, instead of just spawning it in where, uh, near me. Because apparently that's what the hibernation thing is for, where it only, like, spawns in critters that are near you. While on, like, a server, it would spawn in critters all over the map constantly, you know? And that's basically how my game is being run right now, like a server. So that's probably why I'm coming across, or I'm, I'm seeing the messages for different deities and stuff being spawned in and summoned and appearing and all that kind of stuff. That in conjunction with heckin' fragments of rocks and stuff flying all over the place, yeah. I'd say both of those could together, both of those combined. Yeah, that's definitely not helping out my case. In terms of, uh, like, lag spikes and stuff, but overall, it's, it's right, it's still running decently, decently well. <laughs> Not as well as it was beforehand, but just sands the lag spikes and stuff, right? But let's go over here. Apparently, there's another, uh, Promotech Quetzal in this general area. There's a griffin right there. Oh, wait, is that it? No, that's the sign of fire. Should be able to kill that thing, like, instantly, right? Primordial attack! Yep, killed that thing with 206,000 damage. Golly! I can't even see. There we go. <laughs> Is that a... Oh! Fire Dota Rexy! Whoa! See if I can hit him with a pew-pew attack. 
pew pew, 128,000 damage, kill that level 15 Dodorex, golly. <laughs> yeah, that guy's actually able to take on a heckin' uh, Manticore and Dragon Alpha Boss, which is crazy to think about that. Those guys are that good. Man, I overprepared for that hardcore. I even tried not to overprepare, but I did anyways. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like over here, I feel like that that, that Primal Tech Quest over here is, is flying and is above our render range. So I feel like I may need to go up either that or we can pull out the transmitter again and try and get the precise coordinates of the critter. So, transmitter time. There we go. Whoa, that was bright. Dino scan. Let's see. What was it? Quetzal? I'm like, I don't even need to kill it, but I might as well, right? Oh, man, there's like five heckin' primal tech quetzals now <laughs> yeah i guess that's that's what it's uh, we saw only two earlier on and i guess now f uh, four more have spawned in, in their place ever since i guess that's just what happens when the whole entire map is being loaded in while you're playing rather than just the nearby area being loaded in while you're playing you know i don't know i'm, I'm going to need to decide like whether or not i want to keep this uh hibernation thing off or what but uh, which one's because that's not oh, oh man i guess they spawn all the way down there too huh that's kind of interesting now which one is the one that okay that I don't think that's near us. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, it is. I think that is near us. We do have a spigot near us. We do have a heckin' scorpion near us. You need to kill it. There we go. 6,000 damage. Man, my Boquito's freaking the heck out. Golly. Holy. Eat some food. Do I have extra food on me? Oh, man, I don't have extra food on me. I need to go get more food here soon. Uh, either way, let's go back over to Nya. Let's go back to Quetzal. Now, which one? Now, that was the second one. Is there another one? Oh, there's two. There are... Apparently two Quetzals, two Primal Tech Quetzals in our near vicinity, three Primal Tech Quetzals in our near vicinity. Um, 31, 51, 34, 47, 32, 51. So uh, 32, 51 ish area. There should be like heckin three Primal Tech Quetzals. So <laughs> it's like on our GPS, 32, 51 ish. Uh, we're kind of close. We're, we're, we're close on the latitude. Just need to get back, get, just need to get closer on the longitude. Now, where is that at? 32? Okay, so we just need to go over here. Uh, man, trying to figure out. Yeah, about right here. Over here, apparently, there's heckin' Primal Tech Wessels. So, let's go down here. Down here. I'm like, it doesn't show like a Y. Oh, yeah, look at that down there. We have Dodorex. He's nice. It doesn't show, like, Y-axis or anything like that, so that's not very helpful. But somewhere around town- Oh, Dodorexy! Killed you! Yep! Oh, level 95! Hey, that's actually a pretty good level. I'm on fire right now, and I'm in water. There we go. Sheesh. I was supposed to say, like, I'm in water, but I'm still on fire. Sheesh. I don't know if they actually extinguished the fire or not, but whatever. Right anyways, back to the GPS. Around 32 and around 51. That's apparently- I'm pretty sure they've got to be in the skies. Uh... Yeah, I've got to keep, like, heading this general direction. They've got to be, like, way above me. Oh, wait, no, never mind, there's one right there. Yep, okay, so I guess we can kill that one. Uh, maybe there's going to be two more around this general area? Because that one just spawned, that one just popped in. I'm, like, clear we were over here decently earlier on. Pretty, uh, pretty recently. And uh, there definitely wasn't one, like, right, so... Yep, yeah, look at that, there's one right there, and there's one right there. Literally two, like, basically right next to each other. Sheesh. All right. Let's try and get this one's attention. Try and get it aggroed on us. We can kill it with the primordial attack. The primordial smash! Come on. Let's get it with a little mini pew pew. Try and get its attention. I can't even get... Oh, there we go. I got it. I hit it right there, I'm sure. It, it doesn't care. It does not care. Oh, kill that skeleton you trapped like instantly. Golly. Uh, what about the other one? I have no idea. That one's going to... Oh, wait, what the... Is there... I don't know. I thought I saw like two of them. Yeah, I don't know how... I'm trying to get this guy's attention, but sheesh. Fucking Zomdodo's down. How, why are there Zom... Oh, well, probably from the, uh, skeletal fella, right? Uh, I might need to go down here, because he's, he's going outside of render range for us. <laughs> we need to get a little bit closer for one. Uh, but, man, this, 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 this tech transmitter thing is actually pretty accurate. Like, holy heck. Just need to find him on the GPS, like, coordinates, and... Hey, look at that. We actually found two of them. Apparently, there's supposed to be a third one around here. Man, uh, now, now he's outside of render range again. Golly, come on. <laughs> That's the only thing that sucks about the Paquito is that he, he's just, he's clearly not a flying critter, so he's not as maneuverable as a flying critter. We need to gain some elevation, though, if we want to take on this Primal Tech Qu uh, Quetzal, as well as, uh, Sonic Fire over there. I guess we could use the transmitter to maybe find a heck of deities. I definitely want to take on a deity with our. What the? Jeez. Okay, well, there's heckin'. Primordial Smash! There we go, kill the Alpha Brano. Golly, that thing just heckin' disintegrated right in front of us. <laughs> Holy heck. 
All right. Uh, oh, there he is right there. There he is. 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 Fun. Come on. How's this not working? Did this really not work the first time? Is that a pick me down there? I think that is a pick me. Man. Man, I don't, how am I going to get his heck of attention? There's a Pokemon. There's a heck of Pikachu right there. Yep. There we go. We got it. Oh, we got the saddle. Oh, yeah. That's a yellow one that gives you saddles and stuff. Yeah. What in the world is that? Oh, yeah. This is Sign of Fire stuff. Hold on. Let's try and get him with a... The cannon did not work. He's like right... Oh, we're literally hitting him. He does not care. He doesn't care. He literally doesn't give a butt. Hold on. Hit him with a heck of shotgun. I doubt that's going to work. Yeah, I think we tried that before, didn't we? Yeah, it, didn't, it, it just didn't work. God, come on! And if I hit him with a big cannon attack, that, that's not going to work either, I don't think. I'm like, I know I missed right there. It's hard to try and... Ah. Uh, am I going to get him with that one? Even if I... Oh, whoa! I think that might have worked. I'm like, yeah, 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 I don't know. I feel like the... Yeah, that definitely didn't hit. Oh, okay, it, it just explodes anyways. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to get this guy's attention now. We were kind of lucky on the first one where it, just, it was just on the ground, basically. But come on! Oh, man, that missed hardcore. Holy heck. Yeah, we can't get... Oh, whoa. Hold on. Oh, get his attention! No, we... Oh, man! No! Jeez! Ah. Well, I guess I could get his attention with a Manticore now or something like that, right? Well, like, yeah, we do have another Manticore Essence. We're that much closer to making an improved Manticore Saddle and stuff. Man, this guy keeps on heckin' trolling us over here. <laughs> Gee, that's all I can really say is that he's heckin' trolling us. Oh, yeah. I guess because the Paquito just heckin' glows at night, he has his own light source. That's kind of cool. At least I can see. Now, we're in the world of that pesky fella go. It was just over here. There he is. Man, I'm gonna need to, like, heckin' fly hacks if I want to try and get his attention. Oh, oh my gosh. Hold on, you guys. Remember previously where they go outside of render range and their little timer resets? Because uh, because the hi hibernation thing is no longer on, he was outside of render range, but his timer is still at like six and a half minutes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So these guys are spawning in and then expiring constantly throughout the map. And look at this. He just went outside of render range at six minutes, 22 seconds. Yeah, look at that. His, his I don't know. I feel like his timer might have either paused or something, but it's certainly not resetting. So was that like 620-ish something? If we go back to him, he's going to be... Okay, so I think his timer might might pause, because it's at 610 right now. 609, 608, 7, 6, 5, 4, and then now we backed out. And then by the time we go back, it should, should be under 6 minutes, right? Okay, so if we go outside of render range for these guys, it just pauses the countdown. Okay, okay, that that's kind of cool. I guess we can still find the Mosasaurus, right? So let's, let's actually look at the transmitter here in just a moment. And let's look at the motor. Let's try and find the Mosasaurus, the Primal Tech Mosasaurus. That's the last guy we need to kill, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, where? Wait, hold on. Where's the transmitter at? Did I? Um, I feel like I might have left it somewhere, you guys. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. We need to retrace our footsteps. I'm probably getting comments like, hey, you know you heckin' left the transmitter behind, right? <laughs> hold on. Where? Oh, and there's the other Quetzal over there. Where could this thing be? Where did I last put it? I think over here, right? Oh, sheesh. Man, I better not lose this. This thing was actually pretty expensive. I think it was. Oh, there it is right there. Yeah, it has its own heckin' beacon and stuff. Yeah, oh my gosh. Thankfully, it has that, and I can actually see it super easily. Sheesh. Well,. Since it's still here, we can still use it, right? So let's see, uh, Mosasaurus. Promotech Mosasaurus, level 300. It's all the way up there. Ooh. Now the Paquito, I believe, I don't know, I guess we could go test it out, but he's up there. Where, where is this actual, so it's at about 8 and 55-ish. So 8 and 55 on the X and Y, or the latitude, longitude, all that kind of stuff. Guess we can pick that up real quick, and then find 8 and 55 on the latitude, longitude, Sort of me. I've never gone heckin' swimming with our Bokito before, so I guess we can go test it out. We do have a, uh, a sorry, uh, what is it called? Not a snorkel, but a, uh, a scuba suit, a scuba tank. We do have that on our, in our inventory right now, so of course I could actually go underwater myself. But I don't know how the Bokito actually fares. Does he have an oxygen thing? Oh, he doesn't even have an oxygen thing. Okay, I guess he can go underwater then. Okay, that's good. Let's put our, uh, scuba tank on. So boom, there we go. Let's get our GPS out so we could actually, there we go right there. So 8 and 55. So we're pretty close to the la la uh, longitude, which is about right here. 
Yeah, there we go. We're at 55 now. Now all we need to do is just go straight this way. And we should. Is that another? Oh my god, that's another heck of pygmy right there, I think, right? Is that a glow bug? No, that is a Pikachu pygmy. Nice. Kill it. Yes, we got it. Alpha RG. Alpha Spino. Alpha Mosasaur. Whoa. And another uh, platform Mosasaur saddle, too. So now we need to go all the way out to eight. And I assume this guy can swim without drowning and stuff, right? Wait, hold on. <gasps> Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, I, I think I have to, like, look the direction I want to go, but I feel like this guy's stamina. Hold on, is this stamina regen? Okay, it does regen. Okay, that's good. I was about to say, like, if it doesn't regen in water, that's going to be a problem because we can't go out very far, but this guy's, like, floating through water right now, you guys. This is stupid. <laughs> Anyways, we need to go to 8 and f about just under 55. So, oh man, it's, it kind of sucks that it's kind of like dark time right now. So you can't really see too well. I can't really see too well. I'll probably brighten the video for you guys, make it a lot easier. And then, of course, once we get to those coordinates, might want to just uh, head straight down. And then maybe we'll find a heckin' Mosasaur there. And of course, I don't even know if we can do the prime. Can we do the primordial attack? Okay, we cannot do the primordial. We can do the Hulk smash. If we can do the Spinneroonie, I don't think we can do. Yeah, we can't do the laser beam attacks, so that's unfortunate. But hey. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. Uh, where'd my GPS go? There it is right there. So we need to go down to... A oh, whoa, we already passed it. Uh, so, let's see. Around 8 and around... Yeah, I'm just basically just head downwards right now, but... It's super dark! I can't see! So, we kind of want to do the set... To oh, wait, no, never mind. We can see it right now. There it is right there. Primal Tech... Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. It's literally, like, pitch black. So, heckin', uh... Uh, there we go. Now we can see. Holy heck. Okay. <laughs> So there is the Primal Tech Mosasaur, you guys. Oh my gosh, this this second tech transmitter thing is crazy good. And there it is. Oh my gosh. How, hold on, the stats. 5.8 million health. Oh my gosh. If we, if this thing annihilates us, I don't even know what to do. Like, what do we even do? Like, what? Like, we could probably run away decently. Ah, uh, man, I'm like, hold on. Do we, yeah, we still have Carnivore Baby. We have all that stuff on us still. Okay, that's good. Can we take on this? Okay, we're doing 100,000 damage. Okay, so it's, it's got minions out now. We take on any minions that it may... Where are its... Oh, it doesn't even have minions. Okay. We took 30,000 damage right there. Oh my gosh. We're doing like 100,000 or something. And then like also like 30,000 and stuff too. Hold on. Where's the spyglass? There we go. Four point. We've done about a million damage already. Oh my god. I guess this guy doesn't have minions. Does he really not have minions? I really... I think he might not have minions. Like, he had the little bubble, as if he had minions, but his bubble went away, either that or I guess I killed his minions, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't remember if there was, like, any message at the top of the screen saying, hey, you killed Mosasaurus minion, or anything like that, but oh my gosh, he's already at half health, 2.9 out of 5.8 mil, oh my gosh, 30,000, yeah, he still does, like, 30,000 damage to us, but remember, we have 750-ish thousand health, the, the 30,000 damage he's doing, like, every maybe two seconds or something like that, maybe more, isn't really doing much compared to our heckin' hundred thousand. What about our- hold on. Spinner- oh, whoops. Oh, jeez. Okay, the, the spinner attack- oh, he's got minions again, or- Oh, and it's gone again. Yeah, the bubble doesn't really last very long. Okay, I, I need stamina. I, I think- I, yeah, I think I'm depleted on stamina right now, so I need to- I need to rest, I need to regen. But at the same time, we're- we're taking him out. He's at stamina to 51,000. Look at the top left- or bottom left corner. Wait, a couple more hits! Oh my god! Oh my god, hit! One more! Boom! Oh my god! We got him! Holy! And our stamina's back! Whoa, that was instant! Holy heck! Oh my gosh, you guys! What did we get? Mosasaurus Bionic costume. What else? Tech gauntlets? I think we already had that. Bunch of black pearls. Legendary flag boots. What else did we get? Hold on, that, surely that's not all we got, right? Did we get anything directly in this inventory? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh my gosh. And of course, we got the, uh, the, the bi- or a, uh, what is it called? The, well, we got the bionic costume, yeah, but, uh, we got the prime- Oh, jeez, what is that? Oh, it's a megalodon. Okay, that's nothing. <laughs> we did 68,000. And we were doing a hundred and something thousand damage to that heckin' Mosasaurus, you guys. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think that was a thing, but man, we, we were a lot more agile than him. Had that going for us. We had that advantage. So that's great. We were able to take him, and he was, he was doing 30,000 damage per hit to us. But even then, we were still able to take him out, no problem. He had five, almost six million Ekanel, and we took him down, no problem. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, you guys. This tech transmitter is invaluable. Hold on. River. We could probably use it to find uh deed. Oh, oh jeez. Oh jeez. I thought the game crashed right there. I might want to go force save right here, you guys. Oh my gosh. Look at these like weird like pillar things like underwater though. That's I didn't even know this was a thing. I've never been underwater in this part of Ragnarok before, so I didn't even know this was a thing over here. Like, holy heck, this looks crazy. Like it's got the uh the scorcherous sort of like obsidian pillar looking things over here. All looking like hexagons and stuff. Just megalodons and stuff flying or <laughs> flying. <laughs> swimming around and stuff over here. Man, that, that battle was kind of crazy though. It, it was so one side. We couldn't do any of the primal. We couldn't do the primordial attack. We couldn't do any laser beam attacks. We were still able to take them on and kill them though, you guys. Oh my gosh. Now, there, yeah, that just goes to show that there are certain critters we can take on, no problemo. And then there's the beast of darkness, the beast of dankness that we cannot take on. But I do want to see. I want to check the tech transmitter as well as do a heck and force save uh oh whoops typed it wrong save world there we go force save but uh oh wait what in the world oh am i inside the boquito what in the world oh there we go sheesh that was crazy <laughs> let me put on the uh there you go put that back on all right and put all this other stuff in his inventory because it's probably heavy as butt cheeks there we go put the uh scuba thing back over with yeah now let's look at the transmitter is there any celestials is there any uh, what do you call it? Uh, what is it? I'm trying to remember. Ultimate Boquito, I think is what it's called. Hold on. Boquito. Oh, man, I guess not. Yeah, no ultimate man. Because remember, we can we tame them just like with the uh, the Beast of Darkness. As if we have to use Risha's Beast Blood. But I guess there's no ultimate Boquitos on the entire map. That kind of sucks. But what about uh, Celestial? Or a, uh, what's it called again? A Deity. Whoa, yeah. Jangaroo Guardian Deity. Level 5. He's over here. Wait, what in the world? Why is he over there? Oh, wait. Um, isn't that where we found the other Jangaroo? I feel like it is. That look, that seems, because it was like on the border of the winter area and the uh, the Mesa slash desert area. That's where we found the original one, or at least found the, had the little message at the top of the screen saying, hey, Jangaroo is nearby. Hey, dude. But I guess maybe now we can go back there and maybe it works fine. I don't know. But it's about 42 latitude and about 62, 63 longitude. And then Navalis, which is always going to be in a wintry area. Where is he at? Oh, he's basically in the same area. Let's go take on a deity, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So 35 and 58-ish. Whoa, whoa, Man Mantis. He just ran into my heckin' Bokito and killed himself. <laughs> so hold on. Yeah, let me refresh my memory. She's getting distracted by heckin' suicidal mantises. Let's see. Uh, or a, uh, what's it called? Deity. Let's see, where was it? Uh, 35 and 58. So let's go to 35 and 58 on the latitude, longitude. Let me just pause the recording and try and go to those coordinates real quick on my own. Oh, yeah, by, by the way, real quick. Uh, let's place it back down. Uh, let's kill that mantis. That mantis is going to spawn over here. There he is. Oh, he's going to jump over here. There we go. Got him. Six God, that's so crazy good. And, of course, we have... Oh, my... I think it might have... He's doing his primordial attack as he just killed those guys. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, Titanoboa. Whoa, 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 yeah, this is a terrible spot to heckin' settle down and look at a heckin' transmitter, right? Sheesh. Yeah, let's go to a better location. Sheesh, this is terrible. <laughs> Golly! Man, there's, there's so many hostile critters all over the place. Heckin' the scorpions and arthropleras and spiders and all that kind of stuff. Ah, oh, man, this would've been... Well, then again, we couldn't make this thing legitimately without beating the boss first, so yeah. I was about to say, like, it would've been so heckin' valuable finding Dodorexes and stuff like that, but yeah, it wouldn't have been a legitimate... Like, there was no legitimate way to craft this thing without beating the bosses first, so, yeah. And by the way, my heckin' raft is still over here. I haven't, I still haven't gone around to heckin' taking all these critters off. Jeez. Man, if you guys are commenting like, hey, did you ever get around to that? <laughs> I've been too busy just memeing around with everything else. Golly. So many things I've kind of glossed over in this series. Just like, I even got a comment saying that I need to take on the lava golem. You guys remember the, uh, there's an ice worm queen, one of the Ragnarok bosses? There's also a lava golem. That we actually encounter. Oh my god, what is that thing? <gasps> is that the Omega Drive? <gasps> it is! I saw the shadow of the weird, like, ball things. 11 million elf. Can I tell? Mm, I think I can. Hold on. Is he? He's, he's not going to get aggro on us right now. Like, I hit him with a little pew pew thing, just like the Prime, uh, what do you call him? Quetzal. Prime Tech Quetzal. He does not care. I feel like I need to get the Manticore, a fly, an actual flying critter. 
Whoa! Yeah, this is not gonna work, I don't think. And even if I got the big cannon to shoot at him. Uh, that, that missed, but I, even if that hit, I, I doubt that would have worked. But with our new settings, with the hibernation mode disabled, he should not despawn, even when we go outside of render range for him. I believe that is the case. Yeah, he's outside of render range. He's, yeah, he's still there. But we can't, like, get him aggroed on us like that uh, just by using the pew-pew. I guess, if anything, we could try and fly off the mountain and maybe hit him. Not gonna work. Yeah, he's way too far away. Yeah, he's way too far. Golly, that would have. Man, I don't like it. 11 million health. I don't want to come over here with a manticore, though. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What? Oh my god! What in the world's happening over here? Why are my critters over here? I thought they were safe on the rent. What happened? Oh no, what? What is happening over here? Where are these. My prime dodos are getting murdered. How? Um. Okay. Well, I guess we lost some prime dodos somewhere. I don't know. How? Why did these? What? Why are these guys even? Say a heck in Santa Claus over here. Hey, he's still around for Christmas. But Sonic, we lost some other. God, prime dodo man. Who did we lose? We lost. Oh, we lost Mario. Rest in peace. Orange Tribesman right there, yeah. Go poop on his grave, jeez. But man, I don't know why these two Dodos, Prime Dodos, were right here. Oh yeah, we have the tribe selected, don't we? Yeah, the boss boss battle Dodorexies. Get these guys to follow us back over here to the heckin' raft. I don't know how they, like... Yeah, I guess maybe they might have been outside the raft or something like that, I don't know. Man, I thought I was using the Primordial Attack that... Oh yeah, if I... If I can go over there, I'm pretty sure I'm going to destroy the raft. Just because of heckin' Bokito, right? <laughs> but... Okay, well... At least they were able to help kill the- Oh my god, Alpha Mantis. Ba-boom. And then there's the- Yeah, there's the Omega Dragon again. I don't know how we're going to get that guy's attention. Without having a flying critter like the- the. Well, oh yeah, I guess if anything, yeah, we could. <gasps> Did we hit it? Yeah, I don't think so. I think that- Yeah, it's just a Mantis. Yeah, it's just a Mantis. Yeah, we could look at the thing and try and find more Manticores. We could look at the try- the Primal Tech thing. Yeah, that's straight up not working. I'm, I'm, I'm clearly hitting it. Yeah, that was a clear hit right there. Yeah, you, you, you can't get his, you can't get him aggroed on you by using the heckin' cannons on the Bokito, I guess. Yeah, that just, that kind of sucked. Whatever, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna have to refresh my memory again. <laughs> Try and find out where. Well, then again, I could just go to that general area over there. Don't I need to go to. This, I'm like these aren't heckin' celestials we're talking about, right? <laughs> they're, they're not gonna be hard to miss. So let me just go to that general location where the heckin' uh, Deity of Winter and the Deity uh, Jangaroo, the Deity Guardian Deity of Nature, yeah, that's what he's called, <laughs> where he's supposed to be. And I guess I'll see you guys here in just a moment. Let's see how we actually fare against heckin' deities. Remember, we do increased damage against deities, so I can only imagine how massive those, those numbers are going to be. So, oh my gosh, am I excited. <laughs> I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, back. Here he is right here. Um, I thought he'd be a lot further. Oh, and there's a sign of winter back there, too. I thought he'd be, like, way over there. Oh, and there's a ma- or a, uh, a Megamythicus. Hey there, Megamythicus, how you doing? Is that just regular old- oh, it is, yeah, level 100. Hmm. You know what? 272,000 health. Let's do a bit of a ba-boom primordial attack. Killed it in one hit. No brag. Oh my gosh, we are just crazy these days, you guys. Oh my gosh, what is happening? What is this game? Scion of Winter. Let's do a uh, bit of a primordial attack. Ba-boom, killed it. Mm -hmm. Now the now what we've been waiting for, you guys. The Celestial. How do we fare against Navalis, the Guardian Deity of Winter? Let's do it. What is that number? What? 100? Wait, huh? 100 million? 168 million? Uh, I don't know, but I'm killing his minions pretty easy. Did I kill him all, though? Because that, that's, that's, that's what matters, is killing his- Oh, I- Oh, I'm doing- I don't, I don't know if I'm doing direct damage to him or not. I don't know. I'm like, we're taking- we're taking significant damage right here, you guys. Oh, there's still minion of Navalis around here. Holy heck. We are taking pretty good fire damage and stuff right now, too. Holy heck, we have, like, no stamina. Let's get some carnivore baby food. Heal us up. Replenish our health. Replenish our stamina. Am I... I don't think he has a... I don't think he has a shield around him right now, does he? Oh, he does! He still has a shield! Where are his other critters? Because he has, like, yeti critters. I don't know where... Oh, there is, there is, there is, there is. Oh, jeez, I just dismounted. Oh, my God. How did I not die right there? <laughs> okay, the deal. 167 million 
167. What about the? Uh oh. Uh oh, my Spino! My Spino! Get away, Spino! Oh my no, you dumb Spino! You dumb! Why? Oh man, that was so close. Man! Now we've got to Oh jeez. I need I need a... Uh, there you go. Blood blah blood vile. Blood vile. Blood vile, not blood vile. Jeez. <laughs> man! Minion of all man, he has so many minions over here. Sheesh. I thought we'd be able to kill a lot sooner than this, but man, his Yeti minions are so hard to see, but there we go, we got him. We got him that time. We lost the Alpha Spino though. Golly. Ah, oh, we could find another one easily with that transmitter, right? God, that dumb Spino just had to come in. He just had to come in and heck and kill himself. Man. But we were doing fantastic damage to him, nonetheless. We got some pretty good stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We got it. We got this. Th Remember the one of these deities dropped the improved Broodmother saddle. This one dropped the improved Manticore. We don't have to craft it. We don't have to. Oh my god. Holy. How lucky. We can go. We can probably go heckin hit that uh, Omega Dragon now, you guys. Oh my gosh. We might be I 11 million health on that guy, though. Oh my gosh. Was getting this improved saddle worth losing that alpha spino i don't know i've had that that alpha spino was definitely useful he was definitely a, a necessary stepping stone in the series sucks that we lost him but if we want to tame another one at least now we have an easy way of finding more of them right so i guess we've got that going for us now that, that, that that's good i guess but ah really sucks losing it it just had to come in on that boss battle didn't it ah i knew something like that would happen that close to our base uh, what are you going to do, though? Kill these guys. There you go. Oh, kill that Yeti. There you go. Nice. Well, either way, we need to go find this giant guru guy, which I guess we could place down the transmitter again and try and find him. He should be, like, on the edge between the winter area and, like, the mesa slash the desert area or something like that. I guess we could just place down... Oh, there's another Scion right there. I guess we could place down the transmitter again real quick and find the exact coordinates. But, man... That kind of sucks. I got that boss battle, you've got to admit. Even though we're doing 160 something million damage per hit, taking out a 1 billion health critter, that only takes like what? Six or so uh, hits until it's dead? We it, it was still tough. Even with our heckin' primordial attack that has splash damage and basically one shots everything. Even with that, it took a little while trying to kill all those little Yeti minions. Like, golly, sheesh. <laughs>